Distractions, the better. Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Dr. Dre Dre, and today I got a real talk review on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The Fallen Order is an action adventure game that takes gameplay mechanics from the likes of Dark Souls and Uncharted and pieces them together to make a symphony of a game that exists perfectly inside the Star Wars universe. In the game, you're Cal, a Jedi hiding after the Empire's purge of Jedi. And you're drawn out of hiding and set down this path of restoring the Jedi Order. And this is something that sets this game apart from like Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Neos of the world. Because the story is actually really good in this. And those games, the stories don't capture me at all. And so having some a narrative that I truly can follow and enjoy makes this style of game much better. A lot, lot more fun to enjoy. Another thing I prefer about Fallen Order over the Souls games is the game isn't necessarily hard. I know some people love the abuse, but I play games that like I like playing. They're fun, you know, enjoyment. <laughs> but to play a game that has that same kind of combat and mission style without the extreme difficult level is like a welcome twist in the fucking genre. It's, it's fun to play. It was actually enjoyable. But, 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 for those gluttons for pain, those people that love that, there are harder difficulties. I just played on a normal difficulty. And there's a hard and then a harder than that. It's like Jedi Knight and then Jedi Master or something like that. But it shows you exactly how the differences lie. It's, it goes into the like your health and the opponent's health and damage done. So it affects that. And but mission same amount of enemies and everything like that. Just they're harder to kill and you're easier to kill. And this game looks great. Like the graphics on this and in particular, you know, if you go look at PC ultra settings and all that good jazz, bro, this game is beautiful with the actors uh ian gallagher i know that's not his name but that's what i know him as <laughs> but you know having these actors actually play in this and the facial i don't know what they do but the faces look so good so realistic like it it really sets it off it really puts you really in there it makes it seem more cinematic and that helps drive the story even more in the game and this is this is a must-have if you're making a Star Wars game uh, and I thought Battlefront did this the best and mm, I don't know because this game sounds like Star Wars it sounds like you're watching a Star Wars movie it has all the right motherfucking blasters all that good shit all that's there and you can't bar minimum you have to have that if you're gonna make a Star Wars game yeah it's just a fact and because this game is set in the Star Wars universe, you have six different planets you get to explore in the game. And all of them, every one of them, has a complete different set of enemies. Besides stormtroopers. Them bitches everywhere. But they just, every planet has its own, like, wildlife. And I mean, you're fighting plants. You're fighting different type, all types of enemies. And that, that enemy variety really sets the game off. Because, it, because the combat is fairly simple. You know, even more simplified uh, than the Dark Souls games. So having multiple enemy types that really helps just keep the combat fresh, and you're constantly, as you're progressing through the story, meeting these new character types, and you gotta fight them all differently. They don't, they don't have the same move sets, and so you have to actually approach the fights in a completely different fashion. And exploring these planets is actually really fun too. I cannot tell you how much I've went through and just looked for chests. I mean. And all you really get are these little, I don't know what they're called, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now, but you click a thing, it's like a it's called, quote unquote a secret, you find it and it gives you a blip because Cal can actually, he can see the past of whatever he touches using the force, that's not trying to spoil anything, I mean you learn that pretty quick, but you uh... You go up to these secrets, touch them, and then they give you a blip into the story, you know, give you little side notes. And also you find chests, and chests hold different things, mainly lightsaber uh, pieces, you know, paint jobs for your ship, different clothes, and different paint jobs for your little robot friend. 
And it's interesting enough. It it's not an open world game, and so having this to kind of drive you to explore the entire levels, you know, every little planet, it it makes it pretty fun. It makes it feel alive. It makes you know drive it. You know, gives you something to do along the way, and you get XP at all these pots that you find. Pots, damn. <laughs> We ain't scratching it. I done told y'all this. It's a real talk. But having all those little side things to do, just while you're going through killing enemies and it rewards you with XP, it, that was gratifying to me. And it's nice to have that since it's not really an open world game. And one of my issues with the game was actually uh, I kept getting lost. <laughs> and I'm not like lost, lost, like, but like. Navigating the map, especially like if you get off track, man, backtracking takes a while. You have to, it, it is, it can be pretty annoying, but you can also just not get lost. Another negative thing was I had some frame rate issues in the game, and keep in mind, I play on a regular PS4, I don't even play on the Pro. So take that for what it is. It is a newer generation one, it's not one of the originals, but I had some pretty big frame rate issues particularly on the planet Bogana because it has a lot of fog everywhere and dude it, it would be pretty rough playing sometimes especially when you first land on the planet but the issues never really gave me too too much problems itself I never like died well I guess I maybe one or two times I died from that and but other than that it was ne it never was that big of a deal now if this was an online game this would be fucking unacceptable but because it's you know, a single player game, it, it's fine. It's, it's manageable. And speaking on that same kind of note, there was a couple glitches where I just, like I was crawling through the little crevices. There's these little small crevices you have to climb through in the game. And while I was doing it, I just got stuck. Like I quit, I clicked R3 or something. No, I clicked my map. That's what it was. I tried to pull up my map. And I was too close to it, and so Cal started walking into it, and then I just got stuck in the animation of trying to crawl in there, and I couldn't move and get out or anything. So that was pretty frustrating. But all in all, man, this genuinely is such a breath of fresh air for me, because anybody that watches my channel knows I've been hyped up on Call of Duty, I've been, I was all about that, and then just to get shit on with the product that I got to have excitement for another game to get the game and for it to live up to the hype maybe even you know maybe did better than what i expected this game really really is executed fucking well uh, albeit except for frame rate issues and stuff like that man it really just as a whole this game is fucking good um i totally recommend if you're into star wars if you're into action adventure games anything like that this is a pickup this is a must play for this year and I don't know if it'll be actually nominated for any game of the year awards I know it's the list has already came out for a uh, game whatever the fucking gaming awards is so I don't think it's gonna be on any of those but this might be the best game of 2019 just saying just saying my favorite now granted I gotta get back to playing the Outer Worlds. And if you're into that game, hey, just subscribe. And I'll be having a review coming out on that too. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. That's that. It's your boy, Dr. Dre Dre. I appreciate you watching the video. If you don't mind, like and subscribe. Show your boy some love. And I'm gonna keep bringing you the content. I'm out. Peace. It's over.